It's big, it's amazing. You wander the streets and you're goggle-eyed. You're amazed to look at everything, all the little details, every interesting person. Istanbul's been breathtaking. It's blown our minds. So much variability and diversity and... A unique place. We haven't really been to a place like this before. It's very intriguing, especially because it's the gateway between the east and the west. And this is kind of the pinnacle of that, that crossroads between Asia, Europe, and the Silk Road going back and forth, trade throughout history. Few cities have the history that Istanbul has. You've got the Roman Empire, and there are still remains of that great empire. You've got the Byzantine Empire, and you can still see visual remains of that empire. And then you've got the great Ottoman Empire. All three empires still exist, in a sense, in the city of Istanbul. And for the last 90 years, it has been the capital city for the new Turkish Republic. The people are so friendly here. I mean, I've heard of the Turkish hospitality before, but to experience it firsthand has been really refreshing. For our tradition and belief, guest is very important. We love everybody because we have Christian, Jewish, Armenian, Muslim. We live together in the same building. Istanbul is definitely a melting pot. It's kind of this amalgamation of different cultures from around the world. They're liberal-minded as well as going down the path of wearing, you know, headscarves, which I actually find quite beautiful. They, they, they rock that. If you come to Istanbul, the first thing you've got to do, I mean, a must-see, is the Grand Bazaar. I think it's crazy. It was overwhelming, it was really fun. Huge and colorful. It's got a lot of bling in there. <laughs> it's like an assault on your senses. People are selling things, people are yelling at you because you're not buying things. You look at this, you look at that, wherever you go, you just wish you had more money. Definitely not that corporate feel, you know, lots of individual people just trying to sell their little knickknacks here and there with the little tea stands and the kebab stands here and there. Exhausting, but a cool place to kind of hang out and spend a day. There are some things when you visit a country that stand out what it represents. This is the best rugs in the world to buy. The Turkish rug is iconic. This one has 1,400,000, double not in one square meter. Turkish rugs, they're really art. I have rugs here 13th century, 14th century, 12th century. You never lose the value. Every year price going up, like gold, like a property. When I look at this rug in my living room, I think back to the city of Istanbul. I think about the warmth of the people. I think about the history of the city itself. In a sense, it's all wrapped up and weaved into that rug. This is pure silk. I love my business, and I love to put my culture in people's house. That's important for me. When I die, people should remember me. They say, wow, this was from that guy from Turkey. In the center of the historical city, you've got two great structures, the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. Not only do they face each other, but you could say it's a sense of religions getting along. Here you've got a Christian structure with an Islamic structure facing each other in peace and unity. The Hagia Sophia was built, I believe, in like 500 AD. It's huge, it's enormous. It's just like architecture, but on a massive, massive scale. It's got a mix of cultures and religions. It's a church that became a mosque, that became a museum. So it's really amazing to go in there. You see the Christian mosaics, and then you have Islamic scripts. So it's pretty interesting to see both together. A thousand years after Hagia Sophia, the Blue Mosque was built. It definitely rivals Hagia Sophia, especially from the outside. The inside is covered in blue, a radiant blue, just of blue tile, that the eye is immediately drawn uh, heavenward and is drawn towards this mosque. It's incredibly impressive. It's definitely not to be missed. The heartbeat of the city is the water. The Bosphorus is actually what splits Europe and Asia. It is one of the most important and busiest waterways in the world. 
Anybody who controlled the Bosphorus controlled this part of the world and beyond, especially with trade. Istanbul is known for its historical importance and for good reason, but Istanbul in the 21st century is also very cosmopolitan. Great restaurants, great bars. I think the biggest thing I'm going to take away is the food. I love the aromas. You come over here and you're getting a totally different bag of tricks. We've had Turkish coffee, Turkish delight, donor kebabs. I'm a big foodie, so that's been really fun for me. Istanbul is such a beautiful city. And it's definitely a standout as something different. Everything seems to go, everything seems to be accepted. It's just epic here. We think that Turkey has something to be proud of. You don't see anything else like it. I've traveled the world and I've never seen anything like this.